that work on tobacco farms. It was found that three out of four people um, that were surveyed that worked on the tobacco farm had either nausea or headaches or something leading up to the tobacco or nicotine. So what is good about child labor laws is that they keep our, uh, the children educated because as we know today, education is a big part of a successful career. You pretty much have to go to college in order to be successful and also keeps the children safe. The cons. Um, it's very hard for the employees to determine what is underneath the law. There are so many different um, regulations, whether it's in the school year or not, makes a difference. How many hours a child works and then what department they're in. So back then, as I said, it was very, children were dependent upon to do all the work. Their education wasn't such a big deal. But now today, education is a big deal. That's why child labor laws exist, so children can get their education and be safe. OSHA, Occupational Safety and Health Administration. They are, uh, their job is to regulate workplaces and determine what is hazardous, what's not, what is safe, and then what is a age regulation to get into a place, such as like factories have it. Minimum age of 18. That leads me into my personal story. As you can see, they're pouring out molten iron, which is around 2,800 degrees. And when I was 16, that's where I began working with an independent contractor. Um, kind of breaking the law, but it's not really my fault. It's the employer's, so really I'm safe. It's all his fault. But I was making good money, so I don't care. Another thing that I was doing. I was driving a forklift. At the age of 16, you have to be 18 to have a license. I was not licensed to drive a forklift. So um, if I were asked how old I was, I was told to say 18. So I would say, oh, I'm 18, and I was not 18. <laughs> With that being said, construction was really dangerous, but it's really hard to determine how old somebody is, and you can't just be like, you know, go up to him and he could obviously can say, oh, I'm 18. So it's really hard to determine what is considered um, hazardous or whatnot if you don't really know the age. With that being said, child labor laws exist today so we can keep our children in school and safe from hazardous work. And our group would like to thank you for listening. Buy the stuff from countries cheaper and get higher in the children. I understand it.